Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlamelineVisualEffects.com and welcome to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we are create a very exciting tutorial, so let's see what we will create today. Wow, it's look really awesome. Okay, now let's get started. Subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for watching my upcoming awesome tutorials. Okay, so first create a new composition. Go to composition, new composition and let's call this uh, text animation. And I'm going with full HD 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration make it 12 seconds then click on OK. Now create a new text layer so right click new and click on text. And I am using Palais Blue Eyes font. You can download this font from link in the description. And type your text here. Now select the text layer and make it a little bit bigger and make it center perfect now go to toolbar and select rotation tool and rotate the text something like this okay okay now go to project window and then right click import and click on file then choose project file and select all files then click on import you can download this project file from link in the description so please check this out then select the brush one layer and drag it into your timeline and put it above the text layer okay now select the brush layer and make it little bit smaller and make sure the brush layer fully cover your text layer then select the text layer and change the track mat to alpha mat. Okay, now select these two layers and right click and then choose pre compose and select move all the attributes and rename it to text1. Then click on OK. Now we will create our second text layer so right click new and click on text. This time I am using gloss and bloom front. You can download this front from link in the description so please check this out. And also decrease the font size just a little bit. Then type your text here. I type in after effects tutorial. Then uh, drag it down like this and make it little bit smaller okay now go to toolbar and select rotation tool and rotate the text something like this okay perfect okay now go to project window and select uh, brush tool layer and drag it into your timeline and put it above the text layer then make it smaller and make sure the brush tool layer fully cover your second text layer like this okay now select the text layer and change the track mat to alpha mat Okay, now select these two layers and right click and choose pre-compose and select move all the attributes and rename it to text 2 then click on ok now select the text 2 layer and move it forward something like this looks good to me okay now 
make it all 3D layer. Ok now uh, select brush one layer and drag it into your timeline and put it below the text layer and press S and scale set it 40%. Ok now go to effect and preset window and search for warp then select the effect and apply onto our brush one layer and bend amount set it 24 then again go to effect and preset window and search for fill Then select the effect and apply onto our brush one layer and change the color to whatever you want. I am going with uh, orange color. Perfect. Then make it center like this. Now go to project window and select brush two layer and drag it into your timeline and put it above the brush one layer and then press s and scale set it maybe 34 percent then go to effect and preset window and search for warp then select the effect and apply onto our brush two layer and bend amount set it uh, 28 now again go to effect and preset window and search for fill then select the effect and apply onto our brush two layer and i'm going with uh, light purple color uh, looks nice then uh, drag it down little bit then make this two layer 3d okay now select uh, brush one layer and press p and z amount set it 244 then select brush two layer and press p and z amount set it 156 and then select text one layer and press p and Z amount set it uh, maybe minus 88 and then select text 2 layer and press P and uh, Z amount set it 60 ok now create a new camera so right click new and click on camera and preset set it custom then click on ok now we are create a null object so right click new then click on null object then select the camera one layer and parent it to null one if you don't see the parent option simply right click then columns then click on parents okay now select null one layer and press P then hold down alt and click on the stopwatch and type expression wiggle first bracket 0.8 comma 20 bracket close then enter then select the new layer and make it 3d layer now press R and select Y rotation and hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch. Then type expression uh, wiggle first bracket 0.6 comma 10 then bracket close and then enter. Okay let's ramp view this. Wow, it's look nice.
okay now select these four layers and drag it forward like this then select uh, text 1 and text 2 layer and drag it forward like this perfect okay now import your background footage you can download this footage from link in the description so please check this out okay now select your background footage and drag it into your timeline then select the footage and right click then go to transform and click on fit to comp okay let's do some color correction of this footage so select the footage then go to effect then go to color correction then choose curves and draw the RGB curves something like this then again go to effect color correction and choose color balance and change some settings Wow, it looks really nice. Okay, now create a solid layer. So right click new and click on solid. And make it full black. And rename it to mask. Then click on OK. Then select the mask layer and put it above the all layers. Then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on this max path and hold down alt control and drag it something like this then change the max mode to subtract okay our animation is complete press 0 to ramp view Thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel it's totally free and don't forget to like and share it thank you have a great day